Hi you guys. So today I'm out in my big garden and I'm trimming back some of my squash. This happens to be a patty pan squash. And this is a, something I've talked about before but haven't for a while. So I'm just going to bring it up quickly to you. This is the stalk of my squash. You can see it goes up there. There's a little patty pan up there. But you'll notice that the leaves at the bottom of the stalk, where it's thickest, are dying. And you might be wondering, why Why are your leaves at the bottom dying, but the ones at the top looking really good? And that's just natural. This is just the way squash are. I think it's because the uh, stalk starts to get really thick, and the leaves are no longer required. I don't know. Anyway to keep your squash really healthy, what you want to do is come in and cut off any that just aren't looking great. You need to do this a few times while you're making or while you're growing your squash. Um, the reason is that your plant, instead of making more squash, is going to try to repair this leaf. And it's going to try to repair this leaf. Eventually they'll just dry up and fall off. And you can see that example right here. These have just dried up and they'll fall off. But while the plant is busily trying to repair these leaves, you're not getting any new growth into your new squash. And that's why this pretty healthy looking plant only seems to have one squash on it. So I'm going to go ahead, clean this up. I also happen to realize that this patty pan is um, cured and old. This is not one I'm going to want to eat, and you really should be light yellow. Um, so it's been out here for a while, and I've neglected this whole situation here. But you can see I still have flowers on it, so I should get some more squash here shortly. So I'm just going to go through and do a little cleaning, and I should get a bunch more squash. So anyway, your tip for the day. Look at your squash once in a while and cut off the dead and dying leaves. Like, like all these gotta go. Alright, let me know if you have any questions.